Let's just say it's a big day for the unemployed. You may need a little context for how I came up with this idea. All over the world, thousands of people, visitors and creators alike, and the man behind this entire thing is William here, Open Sauce. We are on our way to Open Sauce. Open Sauce. Open Sauce. Open Sauce. Open Sauce. Open sauce. I'm at Open Sauce. <laughs> open Sauce. Last summer, I was lucky enough to exhibit at Open Sauce. Three of my friends and I built a styrofoam plane about four feet wide. Except the night before, we broke the plane. So we ended up being the disappointment exhibit. However, I did get to meet a lot of YouTubers that inspired me to become an engineer. This is Ben Eater. He is, in my opinion, the greatest computational engineering YouTuber that exists. This is Ben Eater's business card that he was handing out to fans, including me. This is the coolest PCB I've ever seen. It's a puzzle that says in ASCII on a binary line of diodes, shake me. And then once you shake it in the air, it says Ben Eater. Now it comes back to me. I'm an electrical engineering student at Virginia Tech, and I only have $8 in my bank account, but I have a plan. I'm going to make a business card that puts Ben Eater's business card to shame. It'll reflect that I'm not like the other girls. I can design circuits. I can program. I can solder. That's about it. Um, and I'm gonna build this PCB BC perfectly with no revisions or prototypes. Are you sure about that? You know what's better than a business card that can show a name in two dimensions? A business card that can show a name in three dimensions. This means I gotta add an extra dimension to the display. I'll need a motion controller, a microcontroller, and I think I'm just gonna steal everything else from Ben Eater. You know, I could give all the details on how to build this PCB, but I'm not gonna do any of Psych, look at my gorgeous schematics and look at this beautiful routing. I'm not one to toot my own horn, but I play my own violin. I hand placed all 64 LEDs. The display is driven by two shift registers. I decided to use an Atmega microcontroller because I'm too lazy to learn how to program a new one. And also I measured and copied the battery holder from Mr. Ben Eater's card. I ordered it on JLC PCB and two weeks later I got this bad boy. Now I just need to solder, write a simple program, and bam, it should work. Uh, so that's not meant to happen. Like I said, I only need two prototypes to make a working business card. I've changed a lot this time. I know I said I wouldn't learn to program a new microcontroller, but this is an ultra low power SCM32 microcontroller. Also, I'm not gonna make a home. I'm not going to make it a 30 hologram. It's going to be a business card that plays Pong. You know, one of the first commercially available video games. That's a pretty good bar to set for this project at this point. And you know what? That's much more original than a futuristic holograms that says your name in the air. Here it is, my very own unique business card. It only took six months to make and about a week to program, but it's finally here. And the funny thing is, I already got a job. You remember the crappy first version I made? Well, that was impressive enough to get me a job at Well, I, I, I guess that's it. Hmm? What? Prototype 3. I guess I could make a couple changes to it. Like there's this problem when you, you have to press the button while putting in the battery. I guess I could also use a decoder instead of shift registers. Well, here's the third prototype. It wasn't really necessary, but it is better than the last one. Improvements are welcome. I guess this is the end of the video. <laughs> Real funny, guys. There, there really aren't any more changes I could make. Guys, guys, let me out. Let me out, guys. Guys, come on, please. If I, if I change the color, will you let me out? Will you... Just get me... If I change the color, will you get me some water? Just one more prototype. Just one more prototype.
Thanks so much for looking after Chloe. Open sauce. How impressive. How on earth did you get a reservation there? Lucky, I guess. That's a wonderful soup. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me guess. Mm. Men's warehouse. Uh-huh. Looks so soft. Your compliment was sufficient. Hello, cool guy. Nice suit. How the hell are you? Colin has mistaken me for this butthead cool guy one, two, three. It seems logical because cool guy also works at PNP and in fact does the exact same thing I do. He also has a pension for men's warehouse suits. Blender and I even went to the same school, although I have a slightly better education. Hey Colin, congrats on the Instagram account. Thank you, Blender guy. Listen, Colin. Pickleball. What about Friday? No can do. I got an 8.30 res at Red Lobster. Great Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Red Lobster, Friday night. How do you swing that? New card. What do you think? Ooh, very nice. Look at that. Right from the etchers yesterday. Good coloring. That's fern, and the lettering is something called KiCat Font Bold. It's very cool, electronics guy. That's nothing. Look at this. It's army green with aerial type. What do you think? Nice. Jesus, that is really nice. How did a nitwit like you become so tasteful? Let's see Paul's car. subtle off black coloring, that tasteful thickness of it, oh my god, it even plays Pong. Electronics guy, are you, are you sweating? Please leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe because in the next few days I'm going to make a tutorial that goes over exactly how you can make your own custom PCB business card. Lastly, subscribe to my Patreon if you'd like to see some behind the scenes content and if you'd like to get early access to my videos.